1999 was a wild time in baseball history. Baseballs were flying out of ballparks like they were going out of style. Pedro Martinez was absolutely unhittable, and Rafael Palmero of the Texas Rangers did such a good job as a DH that he somehow managed to win a gold glove. You heard that correctly. In 1999, Rafael Palmero was coming off of back-to-back -back gold glove winning seasons at first base. In 1997, he was second in innings played at one bag behind Tony Clark and was second in total zone behind Jeff King. In 1998, Palmero led the American League in innings played at first, putouts, assists, and total zone, earning his second career gold glove. However, between the 1998 and 99 seasons, Palmero would undergo arthroscopic surgery twice, limiting his ability to play first base. In total, Palmero only managed to play 28 games at first base that year, with his teammate Lee Stevens playing there 133 times. In 1999, Palmero was... 21st in the American League in innings played at first, he was also 21st in putouts and assists, as five teams in the AL had two first basemen with more innings played. Innings alone should have been enough to disqualify Palmero from receiving any votes. When we searched fan graphs by qualified innings played, only seven first basemen show up that year, and Palmero isn't one of them. In fact, Palmero played only 18% of the innings at first for the Texas Rangers that year. 900 innings less than his own teammate Lee Stevens, and nearly a thousand innings less than Tino Martinez, who probably should have won the award that year. Martinez led American League first baseman that year in innings played, assists, and total zone. He was second in total plays to Carlos Delgado. When searching for first baseman with over a thousand innings played that year, Martinez had a fielding percentage of 995, which was tied for first with Jason Giambi. What's even more interesting is that back in 1999, Gold Glove voting was done by the managers and coaches of American League teams. If we do a deeper dive of which teams Palmero actually played first base against that year, we see that 9 of the 28 games Palmero played were against National League teams. That leaves only 19 games against the American League where Palmero was at first base in 1999. Baltimore and Tampa Bay each played against Palmero 12 times that season where he only played DH, and Boston also played Texas nine times without seeing Palmero at first. Seattle and Minnesota each only saw Palmero once at first in just 12 games. The Yankees, one of 11 games, KC, one of 10, and Cleveland, one of eight. That's already eight of the other 13 American League teams that had seen Palmero play one or zero games at first base that entire season. Palmero also started the 1999 All-Star game as the American League's DH giving way to Jim Tomei who played first base. Not making the All-Star game for the position he was known for should have been a hint. Palmero might not have played much first base that year, but one thing he did do was rake. He hit 47 home runs, 148 RBIs, and batted 324 with a 630 slugging. His home runs, RBIs, and slugging stats were good for second in the AL. Palmero was even surprised about winning the gold glove. I laughed when I heard about it, he said. Since 2013, Rawlings has added a statistical component to the Gold Glove votes, weighted at at least around 25%. However, most of the awards end up going to the players who lead the league in their position in defensive runs saved and ultimate zone rating, so it might be higher. Using today's metrics, Palmero would have never even been a finalist for the 1999 Gold Glove, let alone the winner. What do you guys think? Was Tino Martinez more deserving or was someone else? Was this the most undeserved gold glove in MLB history? Let me know what you think in the comments.